All right, what's up, everybody? We are back with episode 19 of The Flash. This one is called Who is Harrison Wells? Yeah, I mean, that's, of course, the um, the big thing that we're about to get into now that we've revealed to Cisco and Caitlin, you know, that we're investigating Harrison Wells. It's like, okay, they're going to be joining us to actually uh, try and figure out what's been going on with him, right? Cisco, of course, talking about the dreams that he'd been having, having of this former sequence that we saw play out in the alternative. Or was it the canon <laughs> timeline? I mean, who is to say, right? But yeah, again, I'm pretty sure it's not the canon because I doubt we're ever going to be going back to that. Because yeah, in that case, Cisco, you know, would actually be dead, right? That's not something that's, uh, I think, acceptable for this show, I will say. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, but I've already got like brain fog right now before even getting into this new episode. Because I've just been like thinking and trying to connect the dots for the last like hour or so before diving into this. And it's all my fault, guys. You know, this is just my personality and I, I've never been able to uh, <laughs> help it, unfortunately. But yeah, I was um, I was especially going back, not necessarily to the last episode, because the last one didn't seem that significant, right? We had, of course, Felicity arriving with uh, Ray, like a new character that I wasn't familiar with. Uh, we dealt with Brie, the, the bee woman, right? But again, all that stuff seems like, okay, for now, that's just like, we've dealt with that. Obviously, the main thing is still investigating Harrison, right? And it is the whole earbud, um, or earbud, I think you're supposed to pronounce it, thorn, you know, mystery, I guess you could say, right? It's funny because while watching episode 17, where he revealed, you know, like, um, oh, well, where we saw actually earbud, right? And we saw him actually take over this identity of, Harrison and it all became clear to me I when he said that name I actually like it did ring a bell with me there but I couldn't place anymore what it was and what it was is that back in episode 15 when Harrison had that confrontation with Cisco where he killed him he literally flat out told him he was Eobard Thorn right and that was the funny yeah that was the funny thing so technically you could have kind of known I guess but again you don't it's impossible to actually connect those dots until you see it play out in front of you, right? And that's probably why I shouldn't do this much thinking myself either, because I'm just making myself go absolutely crazy. But I will say that, yeah, the interesting thing remains, of course, that Iaba Thorn shares Eddie's last name. And I think we had established there too that like he would be supposed to be a family of his, right? And I'm like, I'm like wondering what relevance is that necessarily going to have? Is that just a neat little side detail that they threw in there? Or is it actually going to be important to the story as far as like yeah, I mean, what he's going to end up doing with, with Eddie, for example, right? Whether whether Eddie could possibly be joining him at some point, or he's going to want Eddie to join him, or I don't really know what that's honestly going to lead to. It's hard to see that, although I will say that right now, thinking about Eddie's situation and how he's basically forced into this very awkward spot of, like, not being able to tell anything to Iris, having to keep the secret, and therefore getting her to literally uh, want to break up with him now, right? It's like... Man might end up being pretty fucking uh, feeling vengeful, you know, for that or whatever, right? I would think, but I don't honestly know. I don't know what's going to happen in that regard. Uh, I just foresee that, yeah, like, that's the kind of direction that it could be headed into, right? That being said, the other interesting thing to think about is simply the fact that when Eobard Thorne keeps uh, telling people, oh, well, <laughs> you know, he told that, he told that, I think, as Harrison to Cisco, right? He used the same sort of uh, uh, line that he also used by himself against the original Harrison. Is that he said something like, oh, don't worry, you or she or whoever he's talking about, right, has been dead for centuries. I think he said that about Harrison's wife and he said it to Cisco specifically, right? You, they've, they've all been dead for centuries. So it tells you that this dude must be, I would think, like, sen like he he's... He's coming from a point in time that's centuries into the future, you would figure, right? So, holy shit, that's actually a long time, right? I don't, again, I don't know what to do with all this information yet, but I'm very curious to see where this is all going to go. Because we got five more episodes left in this season, not a whole lot. I don't know whether, you know, things are going to be like neatly wrapped up or if they're just going to be continuing with these storylines uh, uh, yeah, for next seasons. That's something that, of course, I have been speculating about already. But I'm looking forward to uh, basically seeing how it all unfolds. So for now, guys, we're going to dive into episode 19 of The Flash. And of course, if you enjoy my reactions to this show, you will be able to get early access to the next 8 plus episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. Full length reactions are going to be up there too if you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety. And you can also sign up as a free member 
and watch at least the next episode already right now. All you have to do is click on the Patreon link, hit the join for free button, and you can watch the next episode already right there. So with that being said, let's dive into this new episode of The Flash. It's my past. It's getting closer, and as fast as I am, I can't help but feel like my past has almost caught up with me. Oh yeah, things are definitely coming together, slowly but surely. He should be here any second. I sent him out for... Pizza! <laughs> what? From Coast City? Dude, look how they've all teamed up here, man. Eddie and Joe included. Caitlin? I'm not hungry. Okay. Yeah, I feel like Caitlin right here is still very much coming to terms with what she's basically learning at this point. Months of investigating Harrison Wells has led us nowhere, so we're going back to the beginning to see what we can find out. Yo, my man actually said it's been six months? Holy shit, we had that much of a lapse in the timeline? Joe and Cisco are gonna go to Starling City. Starling City? What for? To investigate the car accident that Dr. Wells was in with Tess Morgan 15 years ago. Oh. Dr. McGee said that after Wells' accident, he became like a complete stranger, just a different person entirely. Because the love of his life died? Yeah, that would be the natural explanation. But okay, that's interesting. So they're actually going to, you'd figure, discover the, the real identity of him by doing this. I mean, they at least they're being like sus about it, which is a good thing. We have to learn everything we can about that night. See where it leads us. Oh, um, can you cover for me with Dr. Wells? I need some air. Uh, Caitlin. She still doesn't seem fully on board with any of this, man. That's kind of a problem. That means she could spill too, no? Can you get the door, Nina? Nina? Oh, sorry. Wrapped up in my own little world. Late night. I'm used to that. Right. Happens to me all the time. Okay, what kind of place is this? They got bolts? Well. I'm seeing vaults, I'm seeing jewelry. I know this is gonna be about a robbery, but is she the one doing the robbing? This is you on the surveillance footage, correct? It looks like me. Huh. <laughs> but it's not me. Oh, shit. I left work early yesterday. Ask my husband. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that she is actually speaking the truth in that case, but that's interesting because it's gonna put them on the trail of somebody who's also able to literally take on a different identity, right? Just like Earbud was. And everyone who knows this woman, co-workers, neighbors, say she's the kindest, nicest, most honest woman they've ever met. That's what I'm saying, man. You might have the wrong one. Have you um seen my dad? Captain Singh says he took a couple days off and he hasn't been home. I didn't ask. Apparently he's taking a couple of personal days. Like father, like daughter, I guess. <laughs> Why did you have to word it like that, man? When are you coming home? When it starts to feel like a home again. Nah, dude. Yo, at this point, there is just too much, like, tension here. This is never gonna get, like, this is never gonna get fixed, you know? So, I don't even like the fact that they're just going about it in this way, because, again, nothing's gonna change. Beautiful. Let me grab my microscope. Of course. This is oh, Robert this is the Jones. stolen stuff. Okay, but that probably means that the dude that's trying to sell it is the guy that took over the identity too, right? He's gonna be the, the new uh, metahuman. The truth is that he saved your life multiple times. Look, I know, but if I'm right about this... If, Barry, if, and before I can believe any of this, I'm gonna need to see some proof. Proof? Proof of what? Oh, shit. We may have another metahuman case on our hands. <laughs> ah. We are always happy to help Perry, as you know. Have you heard from Cisco? Yeah, thankfully they had the perfect excuse. I got a call about a guy selling some of the jewelry stolen from the bank last night. Could be the teller's partner. I think he's made me. I could use the Flash's help. Be right there. Yo, man's got a really recognizable face to me, actually. He looks a little like the, like the guy from Oppenheimer, doesn't he? I don't think it's him, though. Just looks like him a little bit. Oh, shit. Yo. Oh, my God. Yeah, he can definitely uh, match Eddie and his melee abilities. Wow. Wow. 
You know what the funny thing is? This is kind of on a different level than what Eobot uh, could do, right? Because with, with him, it, I mean, maybe with him it's going to be temporary and that's going to be the crutch, I guess. But, like, he can just, like this, mimic somebody. Whereas, like, Eobot had to actually, like, connect them by some type of wire thing, right? And then that was the only way he could take over the, the identity. But, yeah, again, could be that he's able to do it, like, for good. Whereas this, you know, this dude right here, like, it's only temporary. Well, that was new. Yeah, but it shows you what's possible, and that's the important thing. If you're touched while you're the Flash and he transforms into you, we run the risk of him exposing that Barry Allen is the man behind the mask. Because at this point, we don't know if this shapeshifter is capable of absorbing more. Wow, yeah, that's an interesting thing to think about. So how do we find someone who can transform into anyone? Well, I guess like any problem, just go back to the beginning. In this case, that would mean finding the first person the shapeshifter morphed into when they discovered their powers. Yeah, can you pull up the CCPD records of cases where the perpetrator pled innocent, even though they were caught on camera committing the crime? You're good, Barry. Hmm. Very good. We're going to try to find more people like that woman, yeah, who really didn't seem like they should be guilty. Starling City. I guess we truly do have more cities in this world other than Central. This is all you have. Well, it's a pretty cut and dry case, Detective. Harrison Wells, Tess Morgan are out on a Sunday drive. The tires blow. Wells loses control, and uh, sadly, Tess dies on the scene. Couldn't imagine carrying that kind of guilt around. So, uh, what are you two hoping to find? I mean, but that's the problem, right? It's like the police didn't find anything. Like, yeah, other than Harrison himself looking like Harrison always did. There was no, there was no real like proof for what happened. I think, right? What did he actually end up doing with the the real? Harrison because we saw him kind of shrink or whatever right like he yeah I don't even want to <laughs> try to describe that but I don't know if there were any actual remains left but I feel like there were and he had to bury those somewhere maybe huh you come all the way from Central City you don't know what you're looking for just following a hunch uh can you take us to the accident site well, it's been 15 years I think the pictures will serve you better still we'd appreciate a look yeah that that place is gonna look different entirely Sorry, uh, Detective West, Cisco Ramon, this is ADA, Laurel Lance. Related. Daughter. Oh. You work at Star Labs with Barry Allen, right? Uh, yeah. Can I talk to you privately for a minute? Sure. Oh my god. Yeah, I was gonna say, Cisco was looking a little giddy. <laughs> so was Joe. <laughs> so, uh, how is Allen? Not too much stuff from getting hit by that lightning, I hope. I, no. No, not at all. <laughs> not a scratch. <laughs> it didn't do anything to him whatsoever. He's still good old Barry Allen. We met last time he was in Starling City, visiting my friends, John Diggle, Felicity Smoke, and Oliver Queen. Three people who have absolutely nothing in common, as far as I know. Cisco. Okay, so she knows them. I know Barry's the Flash, and Oliver's the Arrow. Oh. <laughs> the yeah, you better admit it at this point. The Black Canary? It's true. You stop it right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Holy shit, we're dealing with a different superhero right here? Okay. Why are you telling me this? I've been using my sister's sonic device. I was hoping you could help modify it. Yeah. Oh, he can do that. Don't you worry about that. Cisco was born for this. Wow, same shot and everything. Harrison back home again, huh? Harrison. Oh, is Caitlin showing up to his house? For what purpose? I wonder if she's actually going to try and spy on him from here. Oh, shit. Yeah, I guess Barry wasn't really on board with this idea. You can't. You cannot talk to him. Oh, so I'm just supposed to stand by and watch all of you ruin this man's life? Ruin my life? I lost my reputation, my fiancé. And through all of that, Harrison Wells stood by my side. 
He told me everything was gonna be okay. Yeah, she really doesn't want her life to basically turn out to have been a lie all along, right? I mean, I get it. I also wonder what risk Barry figured she was taking by going there. You know, I mean, I don't think Harrison would have done anything to her if he... Uh, uh, but, you know, I mean, she probably... Yeah, she probably wouldn't be able to kind of hold everything in, you know what I mean? Like, Harrison would start to suspect her, right? If I am right about all of this, and you tell him what's been going on, I'll never be able to get my dad out of prison. I can't believe you're pulling the dad card. That's a good call to pull, though. Just until Joe and Cisco get back. Please. Man. I mean, dude, does Harrison not have security cameras? Could he not have seen that she was standing in front of the door? Have you heard from your grandson Hannibal recently, Mrs. Bates? Recently? Uh-huh. No. Why do you ask? Oh, please. Um. Yeah. <laughs> that is one small ass couch. May I get you to something? Coffee? Tea? Um, no, thank you, ma'am. We're fine. Oh, please. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're leaving very It'll quickly. take a minute. It's nice to have Aww. visitors. Coffee would be nice. <laughs> and an extra chair, maybe, if possible. In that case, it wouldn't be too bad. Ma'am, would you happen to have a recent photograph of Hannibal? Ma'am? Oh, my God. Already? Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say. Wow, just like that. Barry, do not let him touch you. Or let him see you use your super speed. Well, how am I supposed to catch him? The old fashioned way. Run like a normal person. Okay, all right. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Barry's gonna actually chase him down in the natural way. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, I like these kinds of sequences, though. Time to show off the parkour skills. What do you want us to do, Thought? Die. What? What the fuck is happening? I'm so lost. They call them Thorn. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I get it. I get it. Somebody... Okay. Well, Bates literally impersonated him. I know what this looks like, Cecile. It looks like one of your detectives shot two of your cops, both of whom are now fighting for their lives. That's not what happened. David, I am the district attorney. I can't wow. What I well, at least they're still alive. Come on, David. Until you show me something incontrovertible, the best that I can do is promise to keep him out of Gen Pop at Iron Heights. Dude, Eddie's about to get himself in the same kind of trouble now. Do you have any way of explaining this, Alan? I'm working on it. Shows you you've been actually locking up a bunch of innocent people. I need to see him. You can't see him, all right? They're not going to let you. Look, I'm going to do everything I can to help him. Okay? It's going to be okay. Okay. I promise. All right. Mm. Yeah, that is, uh, that is one way to kind of force her back into, well, reconsidering, I guess, how she's feeling, right? At least to start caring about him a little bit more again. What is that, a uh, metal detector? Uh, essentially, only instead of listening for metal objects, I'm listening for anything that emits an abnormal sound wave. Right. <laughs> What'd you find this kid? It's a long story. <laughs> you two have a bit of a rough patch? Yeah, she, mm. uh, she kept something from me, you know, something important. Lied to me about it for months. What, the actual superpowers? Does he know now? Joe! Yeah? I think we got something. Tachyons, little bits of time travel. You sure? Time travel, here we go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yes, okay. Those kinds of traces actually trigger that, um, ha, huh, the liquid going up and stuff. Just like we saw happening, of course, in uh, Barry's bedroom or whatever, right? They're gonna put me away. Huh. Okay, look. You get to Star Labs, I'll set you up with a burner phone. Oh. I'll contact you. I run now, that surveillance video is the least of my problems. Yeah, exactly. What the hell does Barry want him to do? To actually, like, go into hiding? I don't think that's really the solution here either. That's gonna make you look guilty. Get me out of here the right way. I'll call you later, alright? 
Eddie, what in the world? How did you get out? Captain Singh called in a favor. Got a judge to sign my release. I was just on the phone with Iris. Dude, I mean, at this point, I don't know whether I believe anything anymore because he could just once again be literally the dude faking to be him. <laughs> yep. I have no idea who she is. Oh my God, what did I tell you? Oh no, and now he's got Barry's identity. He just doesn't know that he's the Flash uh, yet at least, right? That's the good thing. So he doesn't know he could reveal that. I think I've figured out a way to stop our shapeshifter from morphing into other people. Oh, oh really? Fuck, man. Create a serum that will terminate the polymerization reaction, essentially forcing the bonds to revert to their original form, stopping him from being able to control his power. You can do that. Yo, my guy's about to be able to find out all kinds of shit, right? Regarding what they're up to when it comes to Harrison, this and that. Let's just bury the hatchet and we'll go back to Star Labs, figure out how to catch this every man. Every man? Bad nickname? No. No, no we... I kind of like it. <laughs> I was going to say, he kind of likes it. <laughs> Dude, I love even with the way that uh, Barry's actor here is like, acting out the scene it's done so well where he's like looking so kind of suspicious this and that right <laughs> taking in all the information fantastic Wait, hold up, yeah what did he do to actual barry though hopefully not bury him okay that is definitely a hand okay see i thought it was a foot but a hand is just as bad yo they're gonna find the actual body of harrison wills here well What's left of it? A skeleton, rather. Lance, if this is who I think it is, anybody that knows about this is in a hell of a lot of danger, including my daughter. As mad as you are at Laurel, I can't imagine you wouldn't do anything to protect her. Yo, that's fascinating, though, because Joe is basically indicating that he already has his suspicions, right? He's saying, like, if this is who I think it is. So I guess they really have been having this theory. So this, uh serum that you're making is it a temporary fix or will it take away his power permanently not permanently just long enough so we can stop him yo what's my guy looking at over here <laughs> we just need oh god what are you doing uh. yeah no this is getting a little a little uncomfortable not gonna lie something i think i should have done Oh my god. A long time ago. You are kidding me. <laughs> she doesn't even know whether to go with it or not. I'm surprised she's even like... Oh shit. Okay. Well that tells you plenty. She actually would be uh, willing to go with it, let's say. But dude, her fucking actual boyfriend is still supposed to be alive, right? And like out there just like investigating shit. So how the fuck could she? Oh god, Caitlyn. I mean, I, 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 can't, I can't blame Caitlyn, obviously. But uh, yeah, I feel like, you know, I feel like Caitlyn is easily sort of the most, maybe even the most traumatized character of them all here, right? Like the one you feel the most sorry for. But hopefully this should honestly tell that something is up with fucking Barry over here, you know? I hacked into my dad's CCPD account and went through the footage of Eddie shooting those cops. Look. <laughs> the way he says it's so cool too. Die. What's wrong with you? Huh? N nothing. I didn't do anything. Yeah, no, Caitlin is still processing. I don't know. Seems pretty convincing. <laughs> Even the subtitles say fake Barry. Love it. And believe me, when I get my hands on them, they are going oh to... Oh my... <laughs> Oh, 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 who got him? Harrison. What did you do? Harrison is the only one who caught on. He was indeed left-handed. As is this man. Our Barry. His right hand. Oh, yep. I knew it. That <laughs> you could have told us, you know. I, I I'm taking him in. Of course. Well, at least let me help you. <laughs> this guy definitely belongs in that file. Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Oh my god. Oh my god. This dude is so smart. I was drive. I can't. No. Call the police. No. No, no, no. Oh, 
She's dangerous. Oh my god. No. Where are you going? Yeah, like I said. Like I said, he is so smart turning himself into a kid there. Just, oh man. Oh, Barry. <sighs> mm. That's for kissing me. <laughs> Sorry, okay? I think so, yeah. With Caitlin Bates, he was here. Uh, yes, I know. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, you gotta wonder, is she ever gonna let him actually uh, in the know about <laughs> the little scene that's laid out? Probably not. Can't blame him. Were you able to make that item? I think this will do the trick. Okay. I don't really know what she wants to use it for. I've had some practice with sound waves recently. <laughs> I think you should call it the canary cry. I like it. The canary cry? Dude, like, I mean, I'm actually kind of wondering, you know, because um, the one thing I have heard is that apparently this show and like Arrow and I don't know if there's other shows to be fair as well, that they kind of go hand in hand or something. You can like watch them simultaneously too or something. So I wonder if like stuff that we're seeing in here is going to reflect sort of the state of the story, you know, in similar ways in the other show. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, is she just going to like show up there suddenly with this gadget or something? And then, you know, here who actually made it. I don't even know if she's in that show. Yeah. Let's go. What, she used AI for that or? <laughs> His cells have the ability to transmogrify at quite the rate. Which is how he can become anyone. Which is how he can look like anyone because he cannot appropriate your memory or your powers. Got it. Hands on the metahuman. I bet there's somebody who can. Yes, I've made a serum that will create a cortical reaction around his cells. You deprive those cells of their electrical charge, your shape-shifting days are over. Wow, that's great work. <laughs> Thank you. Um, no need for a hug or anything. <laughs> Barry's gonna be like, what the fuck did I do? You don't even know, my guy. Guys, are we sure he's at the airport? According to the GPS on your phone, he's there. I'm not seeing him. Ooh. Okay, that's the proof right there. I mean, you don't really want to... Oh, shit, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, you don't want to start punching, uh, you know, what could be just a random old lady, of course. Hannibal Bates! I think you've mistaken me for someone else. Wait, it's Oh, me. man. Please don't hurt me. Yo, how could you let yourself be taken in by that? Come on, Barry. I thought better of you. <laughs> uh, this is definitely really creative. It reminds me of those things in Harry Potter that actually allowed themselves to be turned into different characters as well. Oof. Oh, shit. Look at that. I'm the Flash. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to have the Flash's powers, though. Even if you're turning into him like this. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. You're done imitating innocent people. <laughs> oh, what's happening to him now, though? Yo, yo. He just keeps turning. Oh, shit. Yeah. The one and only. Well, why did Iris have to be his final form? Yeah, I have to admit this is new territory for me. This is new territory for all of us. I certainly don't think the law is prepared to deal with this kind of criminal. Hopefully we can catch up fast. Yeah. But at least it clears everybody of their, uh, you know, potential crimes that didn't make any sense, like Eddie, of course. He left this list of all the robberies that Hannibal Bates was involved in. It's a long list. With just as many innocent people whose names need. Okay, at least now we can clear up, or clear, you know, all the innocent victims. The reason I've been so distant lately. I've been working with The Flash. Okay, he's just gonna put it like that, I guess, huh? 
Still not giving away his identity, though. I don't think he was supposed to even mention this. I've seen a lot of things that you can become, but... Who are you? Animal Bates? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh! I, uh... I can't remember. Wait, this is his, like, actual form? God damn, he looks creepy, man. I was worried for a second he was gonna somehow be able to turn himself into Iabaton. This is impossible. Keelan, I ran the DNA test twice. It's a perfect match. This body is the real Harrison Wells. Holy shit. Okay, the word is out. Dr. McGee said that after the accident, Wells became a completely different person. It's because he is a different person. Yeah. Now it's just a matter of figuring out who he actually is in that case. The problem is, you're gonna have to dig into the future. <laughs> Dr. Wells. You here on business? Business, no. I came to give my regards to Detective Thawne. Glad it all worked out. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. I was first gonna say this could be bad for Joe, but actually... He's here to speak with Eddie, and this is the main question I've been asking myself. Is like, what is his plan going to be, right? As like being related to Eddie, apparently. Yo, would he need, would he actually need Eddie to like be together with Iris maybe or something? For them to get a kid that would turn out to be him? How will that work? Like, who was Eddie supposed to have a particular kid with for him to be born, you know? He should know. You, detective, are one of the few people I know that truly understands that kind of loss. Iris's mother, you never talk about her, do you? No. I don't. Yeah, I actually kind of wonder what happened there. Maybe we should have another drink sometime. Talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, we should do that. Dude, with everything that Joe knows, he's going to be on edge at all times. After the accelerator exploded, I built a 3D model of Star Labs so that I could pinpoint exactly what caused the malfunction. And you never ran this test? Of course I did. I just never had any reason to look at any areas outside of the pipeline or the cortex. It's a big building, lots of places for Wells to hide something. Oh, they're gonna find the secret room, dude. We're picking up more activity. Oh, here. shit. They're gonna find the yellow suit. Tachyons. They're gonna find the, the futuristic thing. I mean, are they gonna even be able to like activate Gideon or whatever, right? I'm actually surprised it's letting them in. Oh my god. Yeah, man is gonna find that newspaper. Vanishes in crisis. 2024. I mean, that's still not as bad as uh, centuries into the future, right? All right, guys. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell, of course. You can get early access to the next 8 plus episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. You can also sign up as a free member and watch at least the next episode right now. So I'll see you there.